Come on, girls. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now my hair this morning with bubbles and she's making a lot of noise this morning. And there's a good reason for that. Something I had to tell you is when, when I picked bubbles up, it was bad weather. She come here, she wound up having a miscarriage. She's fussing because she needs to be milked. This video is all about bubbles. All about bubbles. Right there, bubbles. <laughs> I'm gonna be building a milk stand today and uh, I'm gonna show you what it's like to milk a goat before having a milk stand and then maybe we'll do one after the milk stand. But the real reason for the video is just to show you how to build one out of some scraps that you might have laying around your homestead to kind of to help you out a little bit milking. So I suppose I'm gonna get in here and milk her. It's interesting. When I was little, I helped milk cows on the farm and goats are a little bit different. It's going from something the size of your hand that you can can manipulate and milk to something the size of the end of your little finger, <laughs> which is uh, a little different. This is my makeshift holding apparatus. Bubbles is all new to this. I'm pretty new to goats. This is, uh, I've actually been milking her a couple of days and uh, she's she settled down a little bit. I think she's gonna be okay. Once I get a stand made, it'll be a, a lot easier. But I'd like to show you. You can see the, the size of my hand here. And this is, I don't know if you can see that. That is the size of her teeth. Got some nosy neighbors here. Just wants to see what's going on. There is her teeth. And you see, in relation to, to how big my thumb is, to back how big her teeth is. She's a young goat. Somebody's not happy about being disturbed in here today. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go, Bubbles? Bubbles! She's lost this morning. Come on. She's ready to go. Come on, Bubbles. Come on, Bubbles. All right, so Bubbles got milked, and we're going to move on, and I'm going to go ahead and cut some pieces out. The one I'm building today is for uh, Nigerian dwarf goats. We've got several different ideas uh, from several different people that's made them on YouTube. What I did is just scratched it out, scratched out some uh, measurements for my goats, come up with what I needed. Uh, I'll give you a list. The totals of the lumber, I'll just put that down there in the bottom. I didn't think it was necessary to go spend a whole lot of money on this. I just scavenged what I could and repurposed some lumber. And that's what I'm doing today screws, a pound of three inch screws should do the trick. It's not that big of a project. You need a speed square for marker. Drill to preset your holes. Impact driver. All the basic stuff. You don't have to have a or saw at all. You can use a just a standard hand saw. Of course, just make you some notes of your project, what you're going to need. Tailor it to what you need. Change it and make it young. You may have bigger goats. It may have a different type of need. The main reason I'm building this is for milking bubbles. Because today it's all about bubbles. So, let's get started. One other thing you're going to need. A writing utensil. And a measuring device. And these are less than perfect pieces of wood. This is a piece of scrap that's split down the middle. Can't use it for anything else, but I can use it for this. I want to point out, when you're making measurements, 
I don't want to insult your intelligence. Make your mark. Put an X on the side past your mark. It's 43 inches. Put my X over here. I'm going to cut on that side of the line, and this piece will be 43 inches long. So I'm going to cut three of these. Now obviously, you want to wear safety glasses. I'm wearing these. Let's keep the sawdust out of my eyes. Three pieces of one by six. And these will be 43 inches. So these are recycled pieces of lumber, so I'm gonna cut this end off because it's already split. This is my two sides. Cutting four 20 inch pieces, which will be the legs. Those are my legs. And cross pieces. These are cross pieces for the uh, for the frame itself. They're 13 and a half inches. I need three of these. One for either end and one for the middle. Three cross members of the of your frame. This will be the main frame. So I'm gonna make this and stand it up, and I'm gonna cut the other pieces to build the stanchion, the head gate. <laughs> These are the same length as your floor. So these are gonna be on the outside. These three here are gonna go on the inside. Typically when I do this, I use a clamp of some sort just to hold things together, do a dry fit. Recycling or repurposing wood doesn't always give you the prettiest or truest. But come on, let's hear perfectionist. This is a milking stand. Next, be a couple pilot holes to get your screws started. I have screws that take a special bit, which is a T35. But the ones I'm using on this, three and a half. I do like the three and a half over the threes. So when you put this in here, it gives you that much more holding power. If you've got something, a bigger project, this is not gonna really be that important with a stance in here. But. put the date boards on this will be the front this will be where we put the head gate lay them up here make sure my measurements come out right if they didn't I'll fudge it a little bit looks good to me this is the front doesn't matter if this overhangs a little bit in the back or hitting perfect doesn't matter this is kind of important because this is where your head gate is going to slide. I'm going to take this, put that right there. Perfect. These are a little bit smaller screws. I didn't think it was necessary to use three and a half. These are only two and a half inches. These are only one bias. It'll be fine. 
this piece here fits straight across here. It will go on here after we get the head gate fixed. Not perfect, doesn't need to be. This simple. And I use recycle stuff, so all my all my holes and frayed up wood, that's gonna be toward the bottom of the leg and then this, this solid piece will be at the top. You only need two at a diagonal and that should, that should suffice for what you need. stand itself. I'm going to go ahead and build this front part up. We got to cut the pieces. My head gate is going to be 31 inches long. So I need two of them. I'm going to get a good piece of lumber for that. Cut two of these at 31. I'm going to save these pieces. What we're going to do is we're going to cut out a section here. Cut out a section here. Now this is the bottom right be on there this will be stationary one two three four screws or three screws this one take and cut like this I'll lay it down here and make you a mark on that board the width of this from this corner about one inch in you want to chop this off You'll understand why here in just a second. So when this is bolted in, we'll take put a bolt right in the middle here, and it'll hinge on that bolt when it turns, and it'll kick over, and it'll allow this head gate to open up. And this, we're gonna cut out a section here. I'm gonna go up 17 inches, and I'm gonna go up 27 inches. Go about an inch and a half in. I'm gonna take my speed square, and I'm gonna run that mark down. I'm not gonna break the table saw out for this. So what I'm gonna do, I have a jigsaw. In order to allow that jigsaw to work, we're gonna have to make holes in these corners right here. So I'm gonna change the bit, get a larger bit. And you're looking for a bit, just look and see if there's one big enough to fit your jigsaw blade in. I'm just gonna use a clamp. This will help hold the piece. You get somebody to help hold it down or you put it on a saw horse, put your knee on it. I just, I'm going to use this today. Start in that corner. Go as straight as you can, straight down. If you got loose clothing, go ahead and tuck it in or button it. So it doesn't get out there and get hung up in your saw. Roll your sleeves up, butt your sleeves. Put the cord behind me so it doesn't get caught up under the blade. Not critical that it's perfect. What it's gonna do is provide a three inch space in here for the neck of your goat. It's gonna take a wood rasp. Clean up sharp edges. Doesn't have to be perfect. That's one. Split the difference. Find the middle. 
and 16 and a half, which would be eight and a quarter. That is the center. This is the face piece. It'll go over top. I'm gonna cut pieces to fill in the space here. Four and three quarters. On this one, it's four and three quarters. And this side over here will be four and a half. That goes on this side, this goes on this side, this will be in the middle, and then that will be able to swing back and open up. Make sure it's pretty close to being, being square. Head gate won't go anywhere. Get this side here. That's how this works. Comes open. Perfect. Okay. One more thing. I just took a piece of two by four. The same height as this, and I went and found me a coffee can. And what I'm gonna do is drill, put two screws in here, put holes in here. Gonna mark these. I'm gonna put one here, one here. It'll go in and clamp down, and it'll it'll hold. But I need two screws for this one to work. Two of these screws with the big heads on them. And I left the head sticking out. And I can take this, put feed in it, mount this, pull it down, and it'll stay in place while I melt the goop. And that's it. I think we actually have time enough to go milk a goat. We have the stands built. A little bubbles ready to get milk this morning. Nice and cool in the 50s this morning. Everybody else is out in the paddock. And I'm gonna try to get this girl milk real quick. It shouldn't take long. I already like it. I've used it once or twice. And it's the difference between night and day. Is it worth it? It's well worth the effort. If you have any, any goats that you're gonna milk, Definitely look into building a stand. You don't have to use this design or the measurements. Make whatever works for you. All right, girl. You're going to see if my aim's any better than it was the other day. Her udders are getting just about big enough that I can start milking her this way. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope it was helpful. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked the video. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.